Still not convinced generative AI can be practical for real design projects? Wait until you see this workflow. Adobe Firefly Now lets you use multiple generative AI models, including partner models like Google Gemini Flash 2.5, Flux, GPT Image, and so much more. This made Firefly probably the most effective AI image editor, where you can combine the power of all of these models while keeping everything in one place. This video is sponsored by Adobe, but the workflow I will walk you through is one I have been using in my projects for months, and everything I share here is based on my own experience, thoughts and opinions. I have been planning to make a poster for a long time with the message that the creator and their story is more important than the tools they are using. I find this extremely relevant in a time when many of us are worried about being replaced by generative AI. And my goal is to design a poster that is thought-provoking and perhaps a bit controversial too. For this poster, I decided to feature all kinds of objects that we use for creating art, like cameras, brushes, instruments, smart devices, microphones and so on. And I wanted all of these objects to be covered in mud and overgrown by plants as if they had been underground for centuries. It would be a huge challenge to achieve this in a photorealistic style, relying on stock photography or photo shoots, because it would require to completely ruin a lot of valuable objects. This is where Adobe Firefly truly shines, letting me create that unearthed look on virtually any object with ease. Since I needed to gather and generate lots of assets for this project, I chose to work in Firefly boards, which is the best place to explore ideas with generative AI. It's the single integrated surface for visual thinking, your gateway to Firefly and creative generative AI. Boards transform the early stages of the creative journey, whether mood boarding, storyboarding, or aligning on visual direction. I collected some photos I took of various objects that I had at home. First, I used the AI image editor and generative fill to remove my hand from them. Then, I mostly used the Google Gemini 2.5 partner model to make them look messy. I experimented with various prompts until I ended up with this one. This also worked perfectly with Firefly Image Model 4 and 4 Ultra, which I ended up using for around 30% of the objects. It's super convenient to be able to test and compare various models side by side without ever leaving Adobe Firefly. And I also love how easy it is to keep track of what I used on all my generations. I can see the icons of the models on each generated image, and I can get more info whenever I hover over them. Besides the assets that I could take pictures of, I also wanted to include objects in my comp that I didn't have access to, so I ended up generating them instead. The coolest thing is that whenever I got an image I liked, I could easily edit it directly within the Firefly board. For instance, I could easily turn objects around, like this guitar, Notice how the newly generated version maintains even the smallest details like where the roots are hanging from. This really makes it feel as if you are working with a 3D object that you can see from any angle you want. But I could also ramp up the messiness of objects. Like for this laptop, the first generated image was not covered enough in mud and plants for my liking. So I asked Firefly's image editor to add more mess. And notice how it kept the laptop exactly the same. So it didn't change the viewing angle when I didn't specifically ask for it. I even managed to generate this image of a mannequin by not only changing the original image's look from clean to messy, but also alter its pose to something that I needed for my comp. The biggest advantage for creators in Adobe Firefly is that you can very quickly iterate and evolve your assets without ever leaving the tool, and it lets you produce all the necessary elements for your comp even before opening up Adobe Photoshop. For this poster, I ended up generating over 50 assets that are completely unified and consistent in their lighting, color palette and visual style and it took less than two hours to do all that. To put that into perspective, I often find myself spending that much time just to find a single good stock image. And I'm sure you've been there too and you know what I'm talking about. Once in Photoshop, all I had to do was to combine all the generated assets, refine their masking and adjust their colors to make them feel unified. 
The final step was to add the text which I hand lettered on my iPad. It's worth mentioning that thanks to Adobe's content credentials, you can always track the source and origin of all of your assets, which is very important. You should always be transparent about the use of generative AI in your work. It's also important to remember that although you have access to multiple models in Adobe Firefly, it is always the responsibility of the creator to decide whether a specific model is appropriate for their project or not. All Adobe Firefly models generate content that is commercially safe. I hope you found this video useful and inspiring. Let me know in the comments what you are using Adobe Firefly for and whether you experimented with multiple generative AI models. I am curious to hear if you found unique ways to utilize this amazing AI image editor. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Explore Adobe Firefly's partner models today and I will see you in the next one.